hi guys welcome back to my vlog today is sunday so welcome to a lovely sunday vlog weekend vlogs are just the best today i'm going to ikea color village i'm figuring out my room space like you can kind of see it now but my room is looking very organized at the moment and i'm excited to show you later so we're gonna go to ikea i'm after ordering bits for collection and I'm just so excited to have like a nice space and I feel like I've been working on my bedroom for the longest time and like I feel as if me talking about my bedroom and doing it up and making it nice is kind of linked to being a 25 year old that still lives at home. I'm trying to make this space how I want it to look whereas if I was living out of home, living in an apartment with my friends, boyfriend etc, I would have multiple rooms to make my own but because this is all I have I'm really like putting time and effort into it. I'm making it exactly how I want it to be. So I'm so excited to go to Ikea to collect our little bits. Owen just texted me being like on the way and uh, I'm still not ready. Like I'm this is literally what I wore to bed last night. Oh, I can't find the hole. <laughs> I think I'm done. Okay, so this is my vision. Like I know obviously the jeans are two different colors. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm literally already obsessed. I think maybe the fact that they are literal opposites also kind of works. So we'll see. Oh. Hello, little denim girl. I think. You're so cute. I think so. It's so cute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my cute room. Oh my god, it's so nice. Isn't it? It's so buzzing. Yeah, I yeah. am. Funny video of me through here, Scott. Absolutely locked. Yeah. The camera's still on. <laughs> it's like Ned Van der Sands. <laughs> does this look over? Yeah, it does. So the thing about women is. <laughs> I can't be the only one. Like, see, so filling her like just like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I can't, and then it's like, get ready for Halloween. I can't be. Tears for and he put her like in little autumnal dresses. Yeah, that's funny. It's giving winter cowgirl. Just another week. Yeah, it's such a good read. Yeah, we know we take it sad habits to make you happy. <laughs> yeah, I take SSRI, six or seven really cold ice, six or seven um. really ice cold beers. <laughs> See, if I wasn't here, though, you'd be up here pissing and crying for the past half an hour. <laughs> okay, now I need to. You would be, don't look at me. Turn on light. Okay. Close door. <laughs> I'm not Alexa. <laughs> okay, show us your outfit and then you can do me. Or my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, these are from Bershka. Cute. This is my dad's top from like 30 years ago. Yeah. And this is Rachel's jacket. It's our joint jacket. We have joint custody. Yeah. This no. is definitely the first time we're filming this. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel definitely didn't cook it up the first time. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so this is my outfit. We've already recorded this and I didn't do it. So the shirt is what I've already showed you guys. And it was actually Jordan's. I was just going to get rid of it for charity. And then I stole it out of the, po out of the pile. And um, these jeans are, for, are from Abercrombie. The jacket, it's done stores, which I bought in my last vlog. And I'm obsessed with it. Hat, Juicy Couture from TK, this been? TK Maxx. And it says, <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> and my tote bag is Emma Chamberlain. And that's pretty much it. Cheers. Shoes are just my platform uh, docks that I got last year that are like a mini calf workout, but they're actually not as bad as my loafers. So I went with those instead. Cut. I was joking to Owen that I get PTSD about coming to Pillar Village because I worked here for like four years. Owen is in his runner era. <laughs> We're trying to find some new training stuff. out of Kildare Village and we're now in the queue for Starbucks. I'm gonna get a pumpkin spice latte. Oh are you actually? Yeah. Did you see Kelsey's vlog? Yeah I did. The you you wanted to do it out You me? saw it as well? Oh my god. I watched it last night. So yeah she got one with oat milk and apparently it was shite and of course Cody drinks dairy milk. Big dairy head in them. Yeah but you gave it to her. Yeah I know that was nice and all the comments were like oh my god it's so nice that Cody gave you it's like men doing the bare minimum once again. Yeah, <laughs> need to take off this coat. <laughs> so we didn't get anything in Clear Village. Owen wanted to get like a training vest for when he's in the treadmill, running his casual 8Ks. 
Did you take his yet? I did take it. I did take it yesterday. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, when he does his like runs, and I just wanted to browse. I saw some really nice bags in Coach, which didn't surprise me because I love a good Coach bag, and I don't think anything else. I'll get one of them. No, I get. I'll get uh, no, I get. I want to get a pumpkin spice latte. No, but I want to get the salted maple and caramel latte. Yeah, I want to get a decaf though, so I'll get a pumpkin spice latte and decaf. Because I've got anxiety and coffee. Coffee makes me heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> a pumpkin spice latte, uh, a tall one. Can I get a decaf? Is that possible? Yeah, you can, of course. Cheers. Thank you. Anything else? The salted maple and caramel latte, please, as well. With salted oat maple caramel latte. With oat, With oat milk, please. With oat milk. Yeah. Sorry, send me the first drink again. We ordered. He was so nice. Yeah, he was. He's very American, isn't he? Very American. He must have done his training and passed with flying colors. Give me a kiss. The car's doing that weird thing. Everything can change. Should have got a cool lime Starbucks refresher. <laughs> refresher. <laughs> you should have ordered a dirty chai. Dirty chai. Not dirty one. Me. Okay. He just hit me off camera. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> Solomon one, but they're 60 euro. I really want to. Yeah, a bit much. But then, if you're going to use it forever, might as well get the Solomon yeah, one. I actually think I will get a Solomon one. Yeah, well, that was easily convinced. <laughs> yeah, I see you stop myself sweat. Yeah, and get into your eyes. very nutritious breakfast of one singular hash brown because I wanted to but for some reason someone made hash browns and left a singular hash brown in the bag and to be honest that could have been me but yeah Okay, so yesterday in Ikea, this is what I bought, this piece of shelf, and this is a desk, like a laptop stand, and then I bought a mirror, there I am, and I've started already building something, I bought this like little state storage unit, which is this, it's a work in progress. and i'm back i have my hair done thank god i am after getting myself a little coffee because building furniture is tiring i built the mustard little tray i built a mirror and i also built a little desk thing but like i'll show you all that later but i just thought i would talk about something that happened last week which i think was ironic because in my last vlog i was talking about like how in tune i feel with my body how i'm 24 i'm a grown woman etc which was just hilarious because two days after i thought i lost a tampon inside me and like when i say i thought i lost one so i was coming near the end of my period and you know when you're at the end of your period and you kind of just start acting as if you're already done so i was kind of coming to that stage and i was in my nanny's i remember distinctively i had a tampon in and then i remember thinking oh i'm gonna have to take that out because i was gonna go to owen's that evening for food or whatever and then i was in owen's house and I remember I had put in a tampon in his house and then I was going to bed and I don't know what clicked, but I was like, oh my God, did I put that tampon in 
while having another tampon in as in like the original one from when I was in my nanny's house because I didn't want to throw it away in my nanny's house so I, I like left it god I don't know why I'm explaining this anyway so then I panicked and then I went downstairs took out that tampon and was like right I'll just use pads and I'll see what happens and then I just thought nothing of it I was like no look if I had a tampon in I definitely would know so I didn't think about it and then the next day happened and I couldn't stop thinking and then I was googling lost tampon how to know if you've lost a tampon inside you and to be fair google like wasn't great like it just kept telling me oh if you're really concerned go to a &E. maybe this is kind of telling a lot about me but the thought of going to a &E to be like i think i lost a tampon it's just so embarrassing but basically i didn't want to go to a &E about a tampon which probably wasn't inside of me so i did the next thing that any reasonable person would do i went on to tiktok people always talk about how good the tiktok search engine is and i fully agree because immediately it brought me, like it showed me two TikToks by like gynecologists in America who literally had, you know when they have like the little plastic replicas of like the anatomy of a person who gets periods, they were showing that and they were like showing how small it is and like how you can't lose a tampon because it can't go into your cervix. And even just the, saying that or hearing that makes me feel sick. you're gonna lose your tampon stop worrying as you see here the vagina is a hollow cavity once you hit the end of the vaginal canal you're gonna hit the cervix in the uterus and the tampon just can't go anywhere it may get dislodged or the strings may move but that doesn't mean it's lost if you can't find it don't panic call your local OBGYN we'll insert a speculum and insert a small little clamp and just remove it very quick and easy like it can't go anywhere it has to stay around so yeah, I basically spent three days <laughs> rummaging. <laughs> That's so bad. I wasn't rummaging. I was trying to find the lost tampon and I came to the conclusion I don't have a tampon stuck inside me. And it was because one of the TikToks said to like get a shower. Which to be honest is a bit more awkward because then they're like you're covered in water and like squat in the shower and check then. And then the, their tips were pretend that you're giving birth as in like pushing or <laughs> it was like pretend you're giving birth or like pushing out a poo. And it was in those moments when I realized I didn't have a tampon inside of me. And even now I know for a fact I'm okay. Like all my period cramps are gone, etc. I'm kind of like, well, what if I lose a limb from toxic shock? but like I do not have one inside me. So yeah, that was what happened last week with the tampon, which I just thought was so funny because I spent like such a long time in my last vlog talking about how I know my body when I clearly don't know it that well. So at the start of this video, I mentioned making my room a space that like I really enjoy, you know, a room of one's own, Virginia Woolf, etc. So I'm 25, I live at home and I've always, I've lived in the same bedroom like my whole life. I'm finally at a place where I know my interior style and what I really like and what I don't like. And this week or this weekend, I went to Ikea and I finally got kind of the missing pieces of my wardrobe, of my wardrobe, of my room. So I got the mustard tray, the mirror, I got a little desk organizer and I also got a shelf for my pens and stuff. The shelf still isn't up, but that's not crucial to the whole thing. I wanted to like make my room perfectly like cozy and, and everything. And I honestly feel like I have achieved that now. It's pink, it's it's green, it has like mustard shades in it. I've artwork finally up my walls. And I feel like for years I kept wanting to put stuff up but I never felt like complete with it. And I feel like the last couple of months I've just been like, no, I'm doing this and I've done it. And it just feels so great. And I'm just really happy with my space. And as well as the whole room redecoration, it kind of makes sense, especially the whole clearing of my desk because I work from home and then I edit my YouTube videos. And this week I'm also starting a new course. So I spoke about this on my Twitter a couple of weeks ago that I got accepted and it's basically a uh, level seven in screen production. So it's basically like all the paperwork and stuff that you'd need to be a producer for TV and film. And I just applied for it because I wanted to do something new and there's like a work experience element. So I'm gonna have to get work experience, etc. And I kind of want to do it in for film and TV, like to have the like piece of paper to say oh yeah she's able to do those things but also like I think it'd be really cool to become like a producer for YouTube videos 
because I'm really organizing my job and a lot of the stuff I do at the moment is project management and around arranging events, comms, etc. So I'm kind of like, if I could get into this, into that avenue of like a producer for YouTube videos, that would be great. But yeah, I feel like that's all that's really going on at the moment. My room, the course, what else? Oh, the tampon. That was honestly a highlight of the week. But yeah, I'll give you a mini room tour now. Thank <laughs> you.